feeling any better? <sighs> Stupid question, huh? No, it wasn't. I'm just freaking out again. Yeah, now I'm right there with you. I mean, I know I didn't see Richie the night we hit him, but I just keep imagining his body dead. Colby thinks her plan will save us. Do you? That's all we got. Hi. Hi, Mom. Joy and I were just on our way out. Actually, we'd like you to stay. What's up? We need to talk about the night you guys drove up to Adam's Lodge with Colby. Joy wasn't with us. Just stop. Cassandra, please, no more lies. I haven't lied to you. Yes, you have. Look, I will deal, okay? Just, you should go. Actually, you should stay. Don't boss him. Cassandra! I'm not going anywhere. He can't make you stay. I want to stay. So let's all sit down, okay? I can't believe you're doing this to me. I'm not doing anything to you, Cassandra. I, I tried to talk to you. I didn't get anywhere. Your mother thinks you're scared. Don't talk for her. Look, what? you just... Watch your mouth. Now, Jesse wants to help you, sweetheart. By having me followed and convincing you I'm a killer? I'm not out to get you, Cassandra. Yeah, right. You want to nail me and now Dre for running over that Novak guy. <sighs> what I want is for you to tell me what happened that night. Cass, maybe... Look, if my mother believes in me, that should be enough. And you, you didn't even have anything on us. You don't have any proof of anything, so why don't you just leave us alone? This is from a security camera from a gas station on Route 77, about five miles from where Richie Novak was found. And uh, it looks like the two of you paying for gas for the only car that was out at the pumps at the time. Bam! Colby's car. The one she claimed she didn't drive that night. Forensics lifted tire tracks from Richie's clothing. Rare tires. The same rare tires that were on Colby's car. This is proof that Richie was run down by this vehicle. They got us. Now I'm gonna tell them that I was the driver. No, don't. This is hurting you and your mom. I can fix it. You are not going down for this, okay? I'll handle it. You know, all of this covert whispering between the two of you, you need to be over here talking to us. It couldn't be more obvious. What do you think, we're stupid? We are not the enemy. Come on, are you kidding? I know you two are not killers. Something went wrong that night. Something went really wrong. Freaked you out, you didn't know what to do, so you decided to just cover it up. That's not working for you really well, is it? You do see that, don't you? And I do want to help you. But I can't do anything with you stonewalling like this. Honey, please listen to him. We will see you through this. Yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. Who are you calling? Calling Daddy. Tell him I'll be on the first jet back to Paris. Cass, hold on. No, I don't want to Give be here me anymore. That. Give me this phone. You are not running away from this. You can't make me stay. Actually, I can, Cassandra. I don't want to have to do this, but you're leaving me no choice. Not talking, resisting, baby. You know what? You two, you got to work with us here. You have to trust us. No, I will never trust you again. Either of you. Jesse. Um. You need to do what you need to do. All right, all right. This is no sideshow. Everybody get back to work. Torino, any word on Colby Chandler? Perry's bringing her in. I'd like you to question this young man, Dre Woods. This is Detective Garino. Now, are you sure you don't want to call your father? No, I don't want him involved. Lawyer? Don't need one. You heard the man. Do your thing. 
Have a seat at my desk. All right, so uh, you want to go somewhere private? I don't want special treatment. You decided that I'm a criminal, so just treat me like one. Do whatever you have to do in front of everybody, just like they're doing with Dre. Yes, ma'am. So, let's have a seat. Okay. You ready for this? Yes. State your full name. Cassandra Foster. It's gonna be okay. Right. Cassandra, it doesn't need to be this way. Careful now. Watch your step. Kobe. Hey, you guys okay? Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. We'll be fine. Cassandra, listen, sweetheart, please, let's go somewhere where we can talk and Oh, well, Mom, I don't have anything else to say to you. Hubbard! What are you trying to prove, Hubbard? That I'm good at my job, Chandler. My daughter did not run down Richie Novak. I told you the car was stolen. She never got a chance to drive it. Well, we have evidence that suggests otherwise. Perry, you escort Miss Chandler to the interrogation room? My daughter is not being questioned before my lawyer gets here. I told you I don't want a lawyer. Honey, don't, don't fight me on this. As your legal guardian, I'm I 18. Never... I'm an adult. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, no lawyer. Colby. It's just for your own protection. I can protect myself. Let's go. I'm going with you. No, you're not. For the love of God, go. Back off, Dad. Where were you between 8 and 10 p.m. on the night of July 3rd? I was driving back from Mr. Chandler's lodge. I was driving back from my dad's lodge. I was driving back from Adam Chandler's lodge. Dre and Colby were in the car, but you were the one driving? Yes. I was the one behind the wheel. Yeah. It's my car, so yeah, I was the one driving. Well, I was hoping you'd give us some answers so we could figure out exactly what happened on Route 77 where Richie Novak was killed. Now, Colby, you say you were driving your car when it hit Richie Novak. She's lying to protect her friends. I will throw you out of here, Chandler. Dre, you say you were driving. That's right. And Cassandra, you say you were driving the car. I was. Look, I know what you're doing here thinking this is smart, that it's going to help. But it's not going to help. It's just going to make things harder for all of you. You need to think about this. There's nothing to think about. I told the truth. Nothing but. All right, well, the three of you seem to claim responsibility for this hit and run. I'm going to have to put all of you under arrest. No, you wait can't a do that, Jesse. Wait a minute. You, you have the right to remain silent. Jesse, 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 anything you say can't go on. Listen to and me. will be held against you in a court of law. No. 